My name is Scotty, this is my home, and we're in Ambler, Pennsylvania. What we're doing today is we're installing a rain garden in the lower portion of the backyard. The Environmental Advisory Committee of the Borough of Ambler was looking for five houses to do the initial gardens. And I said, well, I'll be happy to do one. And that's why we have all these lovely volunteers here. The Rain Gardens for the Bays campaign was an initiative that was started several years ago in conjunction with our three Mid-Atlantic National Estuary programs. We provided some funding through EPA to the state through their non-point source program to provide the technical resources and to get demonstration projects in the ground. We are encouraging local campaigns and the Ambler campaign really is one of the first in this part of the Delaware estuary in Pennsylvania. We decided to take on 100 rain gardens here in Ambler in order to have the homeowners begin to play a part in um, best management practices for managing stormwater. There are three tributaries that run through the town to the Wissahickon Creek. And these tributaries have been flooding excessively because of the upstream development, more impervious surfaces, and because of our climate change, more rain coming down. So stormwater management has become one of the biggest problems that Pennsylvania is facing, particularly in suburban and urban areas. When there's no place for the water to go, and the water rises really fast, you have a chance to have your house really damaged. It causes power outages. 10 inches water can lift a car and move it downstream. Stormwater doesn't just affect this community, it affects everything downstream. And we're downstream already. Stormwater causes things to wash downstream, chemicals in your garden, silt. All these things build up downstream, gets in the Delaware River, gets in the Delaware Bay, often has to be dredged out to keep our waterways open to bring in food can affect the fish population. It impacts the cost of cleaning the water, so it can affect our drinking water. And people don't think about stormwater having that impact. By our doing this project, we're showing our upstream townships. Your EACs or your groups should start a project like this too, because you're actually going to be able to make a bigger difference. You're less densely developed, you have more open space, you could put in more rain gardens. They have a lot of impervious surface and a lot of volume coming in on a storm. So it's coming off the roof, it's coming off the driveway, yeah, my dad it's coming off of this roof. The, the goal is to take care of as much impervious surface from that home as possible. Because the volume does a lot of damage to our local streams, it's going to erode the stream banks, but also the pollutants that it's picking up along the way. The reason it's bowl shaped is so that it can capture stormwater. Rain gardens help store the stormwater, so that helps slow down the volume of stormwater. And the plants help to filter some of the pollutants. They also provide infiltration. So you have this lovely, beautiful thing that's performing a very positive and important function. Water comes in. We want to make sure the rain garden can handle one inch of the rain in 24 hours. We did not want water standing in this rain garden for more than 24 hours. We calculated the roof area, this driveway area, the patio area, and figured out how much water would be running into the rain garden. Based on the soil properties and the runoff from the roof, we actually sized the rain garden. Made sure it was deep enough to handle the water coming off this property. Basically what we're doing is recreating natural ecosystem functions. We recommend native plants because those are really what the birds and insects are looking for. Insects in particular, they don't want to lay their eggs on just any plant. They're looking for specific native plants and specific flowers from which to pollinate on. And insects become the food for birds, especially during the spring and summer. And so your yard could be valuable habitat. And a rain garden has many benefits. It affects your own health and growth because you can go into the yard and enjoy and relax. And it makes a great educational opportunity as well for kids and families to go out there and see what's coming to visit in your backyard. And things do show up when you plant native plants. I was, I was so 
so you know we, we bought this house you know I got this big side yard and it's really boring a neighbor of mine asked if I might be interested in rain garden and I said okay I'm, I'm game they gave me a list and I picked out the ones I wanted you want things that are going to be an array of blooms throughout the seasons you have a lot of people who walk their dogs in this yeah. area and, and they're all going to enjoy this yeah. I'm out gardening. People stop by and say, oh, love your house, or where'd you get this plant? Well, my neighbor over there had this plant. We divided it in half. Sharing plants can be a fun thing too. You know, it helps you get to know your neighbors. And I think it helps beautify the neighborhood. Ideally, every house would have a rain garden. Ideally, it would be each homeowner being responsible for the rainwater that falls on their property. It's the combined amount of them. It's everybody doing them. It's everybody doing their small part. That's how life works.